Studies by the Department of Justice report that one out of five women experiences sexual assault in her lifetime. Although most victim-centered agencies have traditionally focused on violence within adult relationships, it is now known that teen dating and sexual violence occurs at almost the same rate. Two out of three sexual assault victims are under the age of 18. One in three sexual assault victims are under the age of 12. One in three girls will be the victim of an attempted or completed sexual assault before she reaches the age of 18. Eight in 10 youth in middle school and high school will experience some form of sexual harassment. The impact of sexual violence is profound. Victims experience an increased likelihood of substance abuse, risky sexual behavior, eating disorders, suicide attempts, and re-victimization. What I really loved about the program is that they discuss gender roles and how it applies to every individual today, whether you be female or male. And what I was doing is teaching Macbeth, and what I wanted to do was show the students that these issues that they were seeing in the literature that they might consider outdated was actually very pertinent to their lives. And when I brought the center in, we could connect that and it really helped the students to understand that these are still major issues. I think that what it does is it helps them realize that they're not alone and that they can have a place to go and how to be appropriate with others in the same situation. For nearly 20 years, the Southern Arizona Center Against Sexual Assault has led the way in primary prevention in our community. We educate young people in skills that can prevent gender-based violence at a time when they are developing social relationships. Workshops emphasize healthy relationships power and control dynamics, understanding consent and coercion, and bystander intervention skill building. I am the special project supervisor in the detention division who coordinates all of the special programs that come through the detention facility. And how we pick and choose our programs are based on um, programs that will be able to provide information that our youth can use once they are released back into the community and hoping that if they did find themselves in a situation that they um, knew what the next step could be, that there, were, there was support in the community to help them um, get through um, a situation such as being sexually assaulted. Prevention education creates lasting changes. Together as a community, we can end sexual violence.